Hello, I'm Sumit Chandel for The Developer Show. This is your weekly update on the coolest developer news from Google. We are excited to announce the stable release of Android Studio 3.6, with a targeted set of features addressing quality in code editing and debugging use cases. Some highlights include a new way to quickly design, develop, and preview app layouts using XML with a new split view in the design editors. We've also embedded Google Maps right into the Android Emulator Extended Control Panel. Check out the post for details on all the updates in Android Studio 3.6, plus a link to download the latest release. We're releasing the first developer preview of Android 11. Android 11 has a ton of new capabilities for your apps, like enhancements for foldables and 5G, call screening APIs, new media and camera capabilities, machine learning, and more. Read the post for a taste of what's new in Android 11, plus instructions on how to download and install the developer preview. If you've already migrated from Fabric to the Firebase console, you can now also make the migration from the Fabric APIs in your code to the recently announced Firebase Crashlytics SDK beta. The Firebase Crashlytics SDK beta is open source and designed to be intuitive and consistent with all other Firebase SDKs. If you're making the migration from Fabric, or if you're just starting out using Crashlytics, check out the post for how to get started. Kubeflow 1.0 was released this week, which provides a Kubernetes native platform for developing, orchestrating, deploying, and running scalable and portable ML workloads. You can use Kubeflow on any Kubernetes conformant cluster. If you use Kubeflow with Google Cloud's Anthos platform, you and your team can run these machine learning workflows in hybrid and multi-cloud environments while taking advantage of Google Kubernetes Engine's features like auto-scaling, logging, and identity support. To get started, check out the post for more details and a tutorial. We announced a new API manager for Cloud Code. The Cloud Code API manager further enhances the existing Cloud Code feature set within your favorite IDE to make it easy to add Google Cloud APIs to your application. This includes the ability to browse and enable Google Cloud APIs, access detailed documentation, and install corresponding client libraries with support for Python, Java, Node.js, and Go. Check out the post for more details and how to install Google Cloud Code in your favorite IDE. We are pleased to announce the release of a major revision of the Go API for protocol buffers. We also recently released Go 1.14. More details on both these releases in the posts. We released version 6 of the popular Open Images dataset with a large set of new visual relationships and human action annotations, like a dog catching a flying disc and a woman jumping. This release also adds localized narratives, a completely new form of multimodal annotations that consist of synchronized voice, text, and mouse traces over the objects being described. To get started with Open Images v6 for training on computer vision tasks, check out the post. Please remember to like, subscribe, and share. I'm Sumit Chandel for the Developer Show. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next week. Oh, the, the snapping point. <laughs>